Welcome, Dragon Champions, to another edition of Dragon Log Gaming Presents Dragon Champions. We are here today. What we're going to talk about is kind of a beginner's guide to mechanics in the game. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the different mechanics and how they work and how they differ from other games that you may have played, uh, such as uh, Marvel Strike Force, which I never played, so I don't know much about Marvel Strike Force, uh, but mostly Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Uh, here's what we have. Here's what we're doing today. Uh, we're going to be looking at the different things that how they affect. But let's first start with power, right? It just it tells you right here in the description. Uh, this combat shows the hero strength in combat, right? Uh, but it, the number is kind of interesting. I don't know exactly how it's calculated. I would like to know that. I'll probably reach out to the developers and see if they have a like a calculation guide. But physical damage, we want to always look to see what kind of damage your character does, right? Here, you can see that over here on the side where I'm at here, physical damage, this guy tells you kind of what's important on this character, but physical damage, so that means he does physical damage. Does he have magic damage? Yes, he does have magic damage because some of the gear gives magic damage, but he doesn't do magic damage. Um, he does physical damage, right? Used in calculating the, 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 he the physical damage of a hero, it's reduced by the en enemy's physical armor. And so, uh, but we'll, go we'll get down to that as well. Uh, I, I don't know all the math. What I'm planning on doing is reaching out to developers and asking if they have what the math, how the math plays out here for me. Because if I can get a hold of the math, I could probably figure that out. Um, at least I hope I can. And... Uh, and be able to bring you more of a comprehensive, more of an advanced guide on damage and that sort of stuff. Magic damage, of course, is just the calculator for magic damage. So you want to look at your magic users, um, such as IDL. Once again, magic damage is here, right? And so we go over to her magic damage. She's got 20 stuff on my character. She's got 2633, all right? Well, let's look at crit chance, right? Determines the crit chance. It's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, crit damage, obviously, it's how much damage you do when you crit. So, uh, you know, if you do 100% more damage or 150% more damage in this particular case. Um, penetration, this is calculated for damage uh, ability reduced by physical and, uh, and magic damage, right? So we're talking about... Uh, you know, from using a, from ability, so uh, how much damage? I don't know how penetration works, really. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's an interesting stat. Just says used in calculating damage from ability. So once again, I think this is an, this is more of a, a beginner's guide. Uh, I, I, like I said, I'm going to reach out to the developers and see if I can get more of a comprehensive guide about how these things work and maybe how the math works. Accuracy, uh, chance to hit the enemy is at 100%. There's no bonuses. Now, I think that there's probably some, uh, there's a lot of area that we can go in with accuracy. I think dodge in this game is very uh, prevalent. Uh, and so you have, especially with Ken Lee, he seems to dodge all the time. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm attacking him, he seems to just dodge and dodge and dodge and dodge, where my Ken Lee doesn't seem to dodge a lot. And I think that might be because of his ability, uh, but it does seem like the they get a lot of dodge factor, and I'm, I'm assuming accuracy and dodge work together. So if your, your accuracy stat and the dodge stat are used, you know, the enemy's dodge stat are used to determine what how how often you're going to hit that character i assume that i don't know for certain um but i think that that's reasonable to think health is pretty straightforward physical armor obviously reduces from physical damage magic armor reduces magic damage abilities and dodge right the chance to avoid damage from uh, most enemy abilities and then shields right Extra vitality, extra shields, and that sort of stuff. Speed, it's pretty easy. It's just how fast their turn meter goes. Potency, if you're not from a different, if you're from a different game, or uh, if you're from Star Wars Galaxy, here is a lot of these things are the same. But potency is the ability to to put debuffs onto people to affect other enemies, right? Uh, and so, you know, if you have Tromgard and he has a stun on his basic, uh, that's that's what we're looking at there. How often do you apply that stun? Tenacity is on the other side of that, right? So potency stat uh, versus their tenacity stat is usually how that works. But once again, I don't have the math yet. I'm hoping to get that math um, to see if how that is actually calculated. Uh, and then lifesteal, the ability to restore health um, when you hit, 
uh, and it just determines the amount of health restored by most abilities, right? And it does say most abilities, and so it's not, it may not be every ability, um, and certain abilities, you know, we'll be able to say, but that's 10% on her. Uh, so those are the basic abilities uh, that happen in the game. There are some other mechanical stuff that happens um, in the game, such as the ability to hit through shields. Uh, if we pull up uh, Wonder Lula here, uh, she's got this ability, Piercing Shot, which, you know, it says, you know, deals 390% physical damage to an enemy. This attack penetrates shields. So penetration of shields means that it just ignores the shield altogether and goes right after the health bar. Uh, and of course, it's guaranteed critical hit while invisible. This is when it's geared out to level 6. Great ability, great character, by the way, uh, Wonder uh, Lula. She is phenomenal. Um, I know they released her in the tournament. Uh, some people were upset by that. Uh, the way to get her was to do well in that tournament. Uh, if I remember correctly, I, I believe I was I was had enough to be able to unlock her at four, four stars. So I can't remember what that place was. Um, I think it was one through ten. And I think I was somewhere in the top ten or top nine or something like that. Couldn't remember the actual number, but uh, I know people were a little upset by that, but. I'm a, you know, I digress from there. Um, other things, of course, adding shields, adding armor, right? So, Patriarch Chi here, uh, you know, obviously has some great adding shield abilities, removing debuffs, adding buffs, um, that sort of stuff. There are the, some of those mechanics. Some of the other mechanics that are in the game that are different um, from, say, uh, you know, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes is like, Corel or Cruel uh, here. She on her ability. I can't remember which one it is. Okay, here. I am the knight. I don't have it yet, but this one says she can actually put invisibility on someone. Invisibility is a lot like stealth. It just makes them go into stealth. They can't be countered attacked um, while in stealth. That's a that's a fairly basic ability. Um, and then gains invisibility uh, for one turn so they can actually put it. Uh, if you look, there's a, the other a really interesting one, is Puncher Face. He has an ability, uh, and I don't know, I obviously I don't have him. Uh, I've played against him enough to know that he has, right here on level 6, his Earthquake ability can inflict Taunt on targets uh, on, for, uh, for two turns on the targets for two turns. Now this is an interesting thing, it says targets here. Um, this ability is, uh, it says it hits all enemies, but the way I've seen it work is it actually only does it to the person you're targeting. So when you use the ability, the person you have clicked as your target is the person who gains taunt. Now, I could be wrong about that. If this is a character you use and I'm wrong, please let me know. Obviously, I have enough stars to star him up to seven stars. I just, I'm working on other characters right now, and as you can see, my, I'm, a, I'm in the ability cr hole crunch right now, so. Um, but I do, he, this looks awesome. Um, certainly in a good ability, a way to control the battle. Um, and Puncher Face and uh, Cruel allow for that. Um, other abilities which I think are interesting, you know, are days in this game. Uh, and it's a little hard. I don't have the ability, you know, the way to pull that up at the moment. Um, but days in the game works very differently uh, than from, say, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Days uh, makes it so the the target of days cannot critically hit, uh, can't gain turn meter. Um, those are all very similar. However, the way it works is, say, for example, on Solius. Solius's basic attack calls a uh, calls for Nightiel to summon for help, right? The way it's worded, if Nightiel is on the battlefield, she is summoned to help, right? So when he uses this ability, she then attacks. All the problem here is if he has days on him, if he has days, she's not summoned to help, right? Because the ability comes from from Solius, not from Nightingale. And so, if he's dazed, she can't attack. In Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, it worked differently. If he was dazed, it didn't matter. It was the other person was assisting, right? So, uh, it calls another person to assist. They assist anyway, unless they have dazed. So, it's 
it's a different mechanic, so be mindful of that. Um, let's see here. I believe for the, oh, an encounter attack. Last, last but not least at all is counter attack. The way counter attack works in this game is completely different than the way it works, and um, and I think everybody pretty well knows this at this point if you've been playing the game uh, for any l length of time. As soon as if you attack Tromgard when he has his um, counter attack up, he will attack everyone and ignore taunt. So he doesn't just go after the after the uh, tank. He taunts the he hits the person. He counterattacks the person that hits him. This is very 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 important. It's very different. It's a very different mechanic, and it's it it and it works actually. I think better. It makes more sense that when someone attacks you, you hit them instead of someone else that wasn't there. Um, and so I think the mechanic's actually really really good. I like the way it works. I think it's much better, uh, and it makes a lot more sense. The other the other thing. Um, to note on with the counter attacks uh, is that you know days will obviously affect that stun will affect that if you're stunned you can't counter attack if you're stunned you can't dodge that's another that's another one but you know those are the kind of the differences those are the things that I am seeing oh one other last thing uh, just came to mind and I want to make sure it's in the video is that when you're talking about uh, you know the AI and I think we can go into this a little bit uh, more later but the AI seems to attack the weakest character on your team that means that if you have the ability say with Ken Lee to buff your weakest character he'll go they'll go after someone else so if Ken Lee can drop a shield on say Wonder Lula or one of your weaker characters like Kira or Venomate they won't go after that character because it has more health and that sort of stuff they'll go after the next the next character or the lowest character on the screen now that's what it seems like I've done a lot of i am doing a lot of testing um, on it. it that's what it seems if you see something different, let me know. Hey, you know, thank you so much for the, the help on the channel lately. The growth has been great. I really do appreciate that. If you are new around here, here, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell, and then like the video if you can, and we'll see you next time when gaming on the law intersects.